Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about your grandmother's diet. Yes, we had promised you on Mother's Day that we'll be addressing this situation. So, what kind of food do you need when you age, right? As you age, right? That's very important because as you age, a healthy eating can actually make a huge difference in your health. It can help improve how you feel and actually encourage the most important thing, a sense of well-being, right? And it has enormous benefits as you help, as uh, you get older. So what do you need? You obviously need nutrition, nutrients, what nutrients are the most important as you age and how you need to get them, right? What are the additional things which you should add in your diet? Everything will be uh, will be discussed today, including why you need to be active, right? And how much do you should you exercise? Everything will be uh, covered today in utter details from the recommendations. Let's see how it goes. The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. First and foremost, you need to, to make sure that as you grow older, you maintain a healthy weight. So you need to lose weight if you are overweight, obviously, very important. And you need to reduce the risk of chronic diseases because obviously as you grow older, you have risks of high blood pressure, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, all these risks are major risks. So if you have any of these chronic disease, then also eating well can actually help you manage these diseases. And obviously you cannot go uh, under calories for a long time right then you will be malnourished then you need to meet your individual calorie and nutritional needs and obviously that will help you to maintain the energy level which you need to be active because that's the most important thing as you you grow older staying active right and self and independent right so what nutrients are the most important as you grow old see the number one two three four five i'm just going to for to number them but then you need calcium you only need vitamin d vitamin b12 you need potassium and you need dietary fiber and the minerals of course all the minerals magnesium etc so you need your minerals you need all these things and there are some special concerns which you need to take care because on daily eating habits right while you uh, while your bodies are getting older your bodies will change so when you make a, these small adjustments to uh, your uh, diet to your daily routine it will help you enjoy the food because that's one of the most important problem people face while getting older because they don't get hungry they don't like the food they don't taste the food well because of their uh, taste buds right so what you can do you can add flavors to your food and even the spices and herbs instead of just salt and look for uh, you know low sodium packaged foods right low if you're taking packaged food then look for low sodium packaged food and uh, look for low sodium alternatives right that's also good then add sliced fruits and vegetables to your meals and even snacks this will help you gain the vitamins right you look for pre-sliced fruits and vegetables on sale if slicing and chopping is a challenge but obviously freshly uh, sliced uh, vegetables and fruits are better ask your doctor to suggest if uh, other options are all like uh, uh, if your medicines which you take or uh, the appetite which you have needs uh, or any desire which you need uh, to eat any kind of special objects special uh, substance then you need to ask your doctor especially if you have any chronic disease right Drinking is also important. How much? What is important? Drinking milk is important. Rest. Yes, milk is very important, but fat free or low fat milk, you should take at least three cups of this milk every day throughout the day, right? If you cannot tolerate milk, then try yogurt, buttermilk, 
or cheese or lactose free foods or drink you can even uh, drink something called as lassi right <laughs> uh, you can drink water instead of sugary drinks that is a better choice in as you grow older because you cannot avoid uh, a lot of intake of sugars and uncontrolled diabetes or per se weight gain right so consume foods which are fortified with vitamin b12 such as fortified cereals and most importantly be active as you on your way right focus on maintaining a healthy body weight because being physically active can actually help you stay strong and independent as you grow older right if you are overweight or obese then first target is losing weight and then your quality life quality of life will improve right and also your risks of diseases and disability will decrease so how much should you exercise in as an adult uh, uh, of any age right adults actually need exercise of at least 2 and a half hours or 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical exercise each week each week 2 and a half hours or 150 minutes any age so doesn't matter how much your age is so you need to try and be active at least 3 days a week which is actually a good goal all right then find an activity that is appropriate to your fitness level so if you are not active start by walking or riding a stationary bike and then you need to do this for at least 10 minutes of exercise at a time and be as active as possible otherwise on a daily basis as throughout the day right uh, and include certain activities that actually improve your balance this is important because uh problems of balance can occur later so you need to have some activities uh, which do that and reduce the risk of falling right so what are those activities lifting small weights right adding strength building activities such as uh weight lifting something very light weight but you should do that at least two times a week be active and uh, uh that is Uh, being active will actually make it easier to enjoy other activities as well like shopping or playing a sport or even gardening so that that is good uh, if you are not sure about your level of fitness and you have doubts of what you can do then check with your doctor before starting or uh, doing any kind of intense active exercise program or visit a vigorous physical activity that's very important so overall you need your nutrients you need your uh, potassium calcium vitamin d vitamin b12 and your minerals and obviously your dietary fiber and enough water water is very important you need to take at least 3 liters of water uh, 3.7 for males and 2.7 for female that is the minimum requirement and uh, that will change according to your body uh, mass index also right so this is all about what you should eat as a grandmother and an elderly age i hope this helps uh, there are many things which are repeated which are not new but then it needs to be put out there all right thank you so much for sharing this video i am dr parvjit you are watching doctor education stay connected and stay healthy